What is up, y'all? I'm in a house, so I'm gonna put this down. But what is up, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you're wondering about the get up and what's going on, I just got back from a photo shoot. Um, you guys need to check out somebody by the name of Langston Collins, okay? He is the best, you hear me? The best photographer in all of Philadelphia. So please go and follow him on Instagram. It's L underscore C underscore visuals. I'll leave a link to his Instagram profile down below in the description. So please, you know, take a moment, you know, I'll give you all five seconds, you know, to click it, follow him, and you'll know, come back here and I'm gonna give you all this review. All right, so I'm gonna wait. Hey, what's up guys? Me again. Just thought I'd hop back on here while I have some time to remind you guys to please like, comment, and share this video with others if you can. And also for all those who are new, please remember to subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate that. All right, that's pretty much it. Now let's hop on back into the video. All right, y'all, welcome back. So today I will be reviewing something called Typorama. I'm not the most tech savvy person. Uh, I don't claim to be. However, I do think that this particular app that you can download on both your iPhone and on an Android phone, it is pretty easy to pick up and it's also pretty simple to use in my humble opinion. Essentially, you can insert text into the actual app and then that text will be converted into a typographic image um, and you can customize that typographic image and whenever you get it to look however you want it to look, you can save it and it'll be saved as a PNG file, which will then either be saved to your phone or you can send it to other people. And you know, I'll touch all on that later on in this very video. So keep watching so that you can see it. But the thing that I wanted to let y'all guys know is that when you first download it, there are two options. You have the free basic plan, which will basically give you like the same bells and whistles as if you were to get the pro, except the biggest um, thing that I noticed shortly after just utilizing the free version of it is that when you do save your image and it is converted to the PNG file, you will have the little watermark, I believe it says made on or made by Typorama. And so if you don't want that, like if you're trying to utilize this to create images, you know, and designs rather that you would like to use for your own business and you want to be able to Put your own trademark on it you know or if you're trying to use it for like a youtube thumbnail or or in my case for a t-shirt for my um clothing apparel side hustle which that link will also be in the description below so please you know just scroll on down you know check that out you know maybe even bookmark it because you know got some holidays coming around so we may have some holiday sales you know but shameless plug aside <laughs> seriously though scroll scroll down you know just you know tap it you know you know click on the link help a brother out okay i got student loans to pay y'all help me it's real okay okay it's hard out here <sighs> but yes um so if you did want to utilize the design for something on a more professional side of things as opposed to just using it to test out designs to possibly use later i suggest getting the pro um type of rama account um you would have to pay a one-time fee of 17.99 which will give you access to everything that you get with the free version but now you also have more um filters or rather you get a larger variety of customizations for each type of typographic image Whew. words yeah it gives you more essentially you get a few more balls and whistles with it and and the most important part which is why I got the pro is that that little watermark image that you get in your PNG file, it's eliminated with the pro account. So um, with all of that said, let's hop on into the next part of this review, okay? All right, let's get it. All right, you guys. So the first thing that I'm going to do is open up a screen recording of my very first time utilizing it. That way you guys can see what i saw you know you guys can get an idea of what the app will look like when you download it and when you start to create and you know, create your first design too you know so you should see that popping up in about three two one boom here we go all right so what you see there is hashtag capitalism kills that's what i wanted my first design to be and that's just like the regular project layout screen 
And so I double tapped it so I can go here. This is where you insert your text. And when you are fine and you like what you see, you click done and you come back here to the main screen. At the bottom, you see that I'm scrolling. Those are the typographic design presets. And so I just changed it to impact label and I tapped it again. The cool part about it is when you tap it, each time you tap it, you get a different customization. That's where the multiple customization packages come in as well. So I changed it again to slick label. I tap it again, right there. Yep, and you see there was a slight customization change. And so I keep sliding right now. I'm just exploring just to see the various type of fonts and formats and stuff. I changed it to paintbrush. I believe I, yep, I do click it again just to see the slight alterations to it, but you can spend some time scrolling through um, when you have the app, you know, because there's a lot to see. And it's really, really cool um, what the app provides in terms of graphic designs and such. I went to comics and cartoons and, you know, I just keep exploring and exploring. Um, and I'm going to pause right there um, just to say that with this particular app, that little bottom bar, which um, I'm going to pull up a picture so that you guys can see it. Where we were, what you just saw, that was specifically the styles section of it when you're in the text um, that is the styles of it. I'm interested for my clothing brand, I'm interested in saying. So I was in text and I'm in the style so that I can get the typographic package features so that I can, you know, try and create and make my graphic design look beautiful. Um, but to the left of that is history. So say while you're tapping to try and get the right customization that you want and you happen to pass over something that in retrospect, you're like, mm, I actually kind of like that. You would want to tap, in that case, you would want to tap history, and then you'll be able to see all of the various things that the app has already created, all of the different customizations. It keeps track of all of them, okay? And so you don't have to worry about, oh, well, I liked this, but now I can't find it because I've already passed it. Um, that technically is your way to go back to something if you want to use it. The only thing with that though, just be mindful of the fact that if you double tap the design, say if I double tap Capitalism Kills right now and I got rid of the dollar sign, um, if I went back into Styles um, and, I, and I was back on this very page and then I went back to History, it wouldn't adjust the history for all of it. So if I had capitalism kills with the dollar sign for all of my previous history, that will still be there. But that new change, that additional you know change of getting rid of the dollar sign for that most recent history, it's not going to show for that particular one. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that. And then in terms of the one next to styles color, you can use that to change the color of your text. Um, you can even add shadow to the design of your graphic design, your typographic design, and you can even add a gradient. I'm very simple. I was just primit primarily sticking in the style section and I utilized the color. You know, I changed it so that I could use my text on a black shirt or a white shirt, um, but primarily I was in styles. So I'm going to pull up a different screen recording so I can fast forward the process so that you guys can see what I wound up landing on. You should see it in about three, two, one, boom. There we go. So it is hashtag capitalism kills with a dollar sign. That's my thing. That's that's my design. Um, I like the customization for it. So once I'm good with that, I press OK Share. And the drop down menu comes up where I can share it on Instagram, Facebook. I can send it to people. I can put it on Twitter if you have Twitter. Um, and the other option, it essentially repeats some of these options here. I can mail it to myself, I can text it to someone, but I'm going to press save. And then what it will do is it will save to my phone as a PNG file and to check that, exit out of the app, go into my photos library and there it is, right there. And you saw some of my other designs, um, but this is what we were looking for. And I gave it a little heart because I know that I'll be looking at it again later on so that I can utilize it for the next phase, which is my t-shirts, hoodies, and other clothing apparel for my um, side hustle you know, side hustle business. Which, if you are interested to see those designs, scroll on down. The link is in the description, everybody. Christmas is not too far away, you know, never too early to start Christmas shopping. So if you're in need of a gift. So overall, I think it's a 
fun app to use. Um, I got addicted. I was creating designs for hours. I made about 59 designs and it's easy to use. I'm not the most tech savvy, like I said, but um, it was easy to pick up. It's super user friendly. It's very easy to share and you know, export it from my phone onto my computer. And so, yeah, if you're looking um, to create designs and such, if you're not a graphic designer, you don't have to be with this app, which is what I love. So I give it a 10 out of 10. That's pretty much all I've got for this one. So stay tuned for the next video. In the next video, I'm going to be taking this very same design, the hashtag capitalism kills with a dollar sign. And I'm going to show you guys how I utilize that on Teespring so that I could make my t-shirts and hoodies. Um, which again, if you are interested in seeing those designs, please just scroll on down. The link is in the description. Okay, so thanks again for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next one. All right, peace.